now today's class we are going to start with the react now let's go and start the react how we're going to create the react application what is the folder and file structure how to run the application lot of things go and discuss about the react application now now let's get started guys to start the react first of all know the what is the react uh, uh, like uh, uh, official website the react website is react.org and this react is developed by the facebook and nowadays most of the companies and you can see a lot of applications are using react for their web development not only web development using react you can also also going to develop the our mobile application also like using react the help of react native framework you can go and develop a mobile development also but in this course we are going to mostly focus on the react web development now we'll go and start with how we can go and uh, uh, create a react application into our uh, into our local and how to set up the environment lot of thing go and discuss today okay now guys let's get started you can see that this is the official site of react where uh, once react.org and once you open the react.org what is written like a javascript library for building user interface you have to understand from day one also i'm telling like java this react is used to build the ui I mean suppose ui means the user interface suppose you want to create any page or you want to create any anything into your web for that reason we are going to use the react we'll see later how the react is help us to uh, create the user interface and a lot of things we'll learn day by day and you know that like we are going to use the react 18 because there is a lot of react version will be there right? react 16 react 17 and uh, react 18 now we are currently going to use the react 18.2.0 means you can say that we are going to use the react 18 plus and uh, you know that this react is active development active development means like uh, like every day they are uh, developing the new 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 features and they are going to release the features every quarter or every month they are going to release the new features that doesn't matter but the basic concept of react we have to know going forward any new feature will come we are going to implement but the things will be we are going to only know that currently we are going to use the latest version of react that is called the react 18 plus okay or react 18. now you can see that uh, they have written what is the use of react and uh, what is component based development uh, and learn once write anywhere that is the tagline of react once you learn you can write anywhere what is the use of anywhere means as i told earlier react is not only for the web development using react also you can develop the mobile application in web application also there is two type of applications available one is client side rendering one is server side rendering that will go and discuss all those things later but just understand using the react you can once you learn the react the same react you can implement in different 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 uh, framework and you can achieve the different 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 task and uh, this is the sample uh, component how what is a component we'll discuss all these things but just imagine this is a sample code they have written here and all these things are written they have here you can if you go and open the react js you can able to find all these things and here you can see that we have a multiple links here one is doc docs and tutorial all these things if you want to click on the docs you can see that how to start with the react and all these things they have written this self learning you have to learn something about the react you can learn from here okay now as a developer first we have to go and set up the environment because uh, anything not only react suppose going forward suppose you have to learn angular or you're going to learn uh, view or like react native any programming language you want to go to learn and develop for that reason the first thing you have to do that is called the environment setup environment setup means suppose to run the application into your local machine that time you require the certain software using that software you have to set up your um, uh, like environment okay now let's go and see what are the different different environment what are the different different softwares are required to create a react application then we'll go and create a uh, react application and we'll go on day one going to start the project okay first we'll go and set up the environment Tomorrow, go, we'll go and discuss about the project requirement, what we are going to achieve. Then, we'll day by day, day by day, we can go and start with our React. Okay. And as I told guys earlier, to start with React, like basic programming language required, that is called HTML, CSS, JavaScript. 
and HTML CSS you, you means every programming not required pro like if you know the syntax that is old and good basic HTML syntax like how to add an input how to add a drop down how to add a button how to add a div all these things if you know then it is old and good then CSS basic style sheet suppose how to uh, change the font how to change the uh, like uh, position a div how to set a color of a text box how to change a font or like font size color of a like any control into html if you know this one it is okay in comes to javascript basic javascript uh, you require like what is a function how to write a function how to pass a parameter to a function how to like uh, define a function inside a function how to define an array and how to define an object if you know basic of all these things then it is well and good for you okay now let's go and start with our our like uh, environment setup what are the different different software required to start our react okay okay you have to understand like any front end language not like react it may be angular or Vue. any front end language required to run this software we require some kind of like server server means we, we require some kind of development environment to run this application now for that reason the first thing required to start with the react okay first one is we require the react because without react how can go and start the react we require react but before react we required okay before uh, react we required the node.js we have to install the node.js into a system don't think like the node.js is our like uh, we have to write the code for that no this node.js is a software we required using this node.js we can dev, we can set up our environment means means this node.js software is a software using that we can going to run and execute our uh, react application for that reason node.js is the most important part for us using without node.js there is no existence of our content language for that reason first go and install the node.js second we will go and set up okay set up uh, the um, code editor you know that uh, without code editor you cannot write any kind of software software like suppose just like i am using notepad using this notepad i can able to write some text here same to same in the program suppose you want to write any kind of programming or you want to execute that on a program then what you require you require an editor using that we can go and set up the editor for set up the editor we required the we are going to use the vs code microsoft visual studio code for writing all the software and finally we'll go and create the react application means to start the react application we required this, this two software to be start and apart from that one thing i have missed that is called the this same as node.js we require another thing is called the npm we'll discuss about what is npm all these things when go and start all these things okay now as a developer to start a react application we have to first go and configure node.js and code editor they will go and create a react application okay now let's go and see how we can go and install one by one software and i'm going to start it okay first we'll go and install the node.js now to node.js to install we have a site called node.js.org okay node.js just uh, like node.js.org is the site using that you can go and install the node.js let me repeat again what is your node.js node.js is a like software or using this software you can able to run and execute your uh, like javascript application as you know that all the react uh, angular or Vue, these all are the javascript application means all the code you are going to write in javascript for that reason we are we are required the node.js okay for the uh, system i can see that once you open node.js.org you can see that this is uh, your home page in home page you have two options here download up for windows because i am using windows due to that it's displaying suppose if you are using some different software suppose you are using the mac or some linux then you can see that based on your uh, machine it's going to display the version here if not displaying then you know that in the down you have an option called other download option if you go and click on other other downloads you can see that this is the uh, multiple platform suppose you require windows you require mac or you require linux binaries you can use all these things for your based on your os but 
uh, we are expecting most of our, us are using the windows that's the reason this is the windows one if anyone is using different uh, machine please let me know we are also going to configure on your machine now once you open the node.js you can see that this is two or uh, like uh, this green color buttons are available now let's understand what is the two green colors buttons are uh, there all are going to confuse here why these two are there and why like not only one first understand these things okay now every day as i told as a software like every day there will be more modification and more things will come right for that reason always there is a stable version and another one is a active version stable means like stable means there is no bug will be as of now no critical bug and most people are using that one due to that we are talking about that is a stable one another one is always that will be currently development new feature will be there that is called the current development for that reason node just contain two part one is lts another one is current lts stands for long term support means this is a stable version is released by um, node js which is mostly user are using you can see that it is uh, is written here recommended for most users means most of the users are using this version but this is 18.10.0 this is the latest version like mostly like what are the currently active development are there I always suggest please go for this recommend for most user because why most user because this is the only one where you can find the stable release of your react node.js means everything is stable here if any error will come they can fix it but this version contain very less error as compared to the this one now let's go what you're going to do now as i recommended like you first go and click this this one the lts one now, once you're going to click this one, it's going to download the Node.js. Okay. Now, what you're going to do now, this is a very simple step. What you'll do, you can simply go and click this one and it will go and open the our, um, our Node.js setup. Okay. I already installed the Node.js into my machine, but for you, let me do repeat again. Now, once you open this one, you can go and click the next. Guys, why is asking me? As I told, already I have installed the Node.js into my system. Due to that, it's asking this pop-up. But if I the first time, then you know that how the software install, right? The next, next, next process. You can follow the next, next, next process. Now it will going to install the Node.js into your system. For that reason, I'm not going to install because the same exact the same version I have installed into my local. Okay. For you, if the first time, then you can simply go and click the next next process. You know how the software is installed. Next process is going to install the node.js okay now let me cancel this one because i already installed this one in pen local then once you install now you have to verify like whatever i have installed whatever the node.js i have installed that is perfectly installed or not okay for that reason what you can do you can open your command prompt okay any any places where open your command prompt and in the command prompt you can write node hyphen v understand node is the command which is going to execute the node application for that reason we are going to use node and space hyphen v means hyphen v stands for version means this is going to check what is the version you have installed into your local for that reason i am going to use the command called node space hyphen v once you click on enter you can see that you can able to see the version called 16.17.1 this is the same exact version I have installed into my machine. And if anyone after installing the Node.js is not working, please let me know. We can sit and fix this one. Because if you have to understand first, if you type this Node V, it's not only get the version, it is also going to check that the Node is installed into a machine or not. For that reason, this is the command you have to remember to check that which version of a Node is installed as well as node is working or not you have to check it here okay now i hope all you are able to get the node version after you install the node now you know that your node is working fine now our this step is completed right now this this one is done this part done the second part is set up a editor okay what is set up a editor first understand before editor set up let's go and create one react app okay because once we create the react app then we'll go and open the application into the editor 
okay now now guys now for the creating the react application we already created our basic software installation is done now let's go and create the react application to create the react application you have to remember we have to because we have to first understand how we can go and create an application before going on that first understand what is the use of a gui and what is the use of a cli first understand what is gui what is a cli i am going to give a basic example just example Just example, guys. Here, suppose I have a this is a folder, okay? Or this is this is a folder. Suppose I want to create a folder here. Then how going to create it? I can take a right click, new, and create a folder, okay? Suppose let me read, name it uh, React Batch, okay? Now what I'll going to do now here? This is the way I can use the GUI and use the mouse i can able to create a folder here right same to same suppose i want to create a another folder here i have an option i can open the command prompt and also can write mkdir like make directory i can enter the directory name suppose called demo one also using this one also i can able to create a folder now you'll ask me a question like i'm going to ask the question like what is the difference between using the this one to create a folder or what is the use of the using this command prompt to create a folder now you have to understand these things guys now if we are using the graphical like presentation like just like a right click and uh, creating all this thing that is called the gy gy stands for graphical user interface means whatever you can going to do with our system for that reason you are going to use the graphics graphics means you can use the ui for that you can see that we are using notepad we are writing the graphics here suppose i want to create a no um, like folder or any files i can use the gui here that is called the graphical user interface but there is another way also you can able to interact with the system that is called cli cli stands for command line interface stand for cli means using the command you can go and interact with the cli you know that the cell bus or like um, you know that uh, suppose you are going to interact with the linux earlier that is the only syntax you have to remember to interact with this uh, like uh, linux system because you uh, like suppose you are just using a server and the, the server doesn't contain any ui then everything you are going to interact with the system just like using the command if you are using the command and that command is the command you can going to achieve the task that is called the cli and suppose if you are using the screen using that you're going to achieve the task that is called the gui now I'll ask the question why we are discussing about gui and cli maybe you already know all these things guys all the node.js applications okay node.js application supporting the cli based uh, development cli based means you can develop any application using the command line means using the command you can able to develop the application there is no gui is there to develop the application why because they have designed in that way like uh, all the like not only react it may be angular it may be uh, view or it may be any uh, front end language all are going to develop using the CLI thing. If the CLI things will be there, then we have to remember the certain command to start with the program. Like if you're going to do anything, then you have to first understand how to go and use the, uh, like this one, this um, CLI. Now let's go understand using CLI, means using the command prompt, how we can go and start with our project. Okay, how going to go and I'll start with our React application. Now just imagine guys we have created a folder called uh, suppose react um, and this is our folder now in this case in this folder we are going to start with our project now let's go first and install the react how go and install the react then only you can go and create an application and install means means you don't think we are going to download a software just like a node yes we are not going to download a software to install on things we are going to use a command using that command we are going to create an application 
Now create a application in React. We have to use the npx create React app, then app name. This is the command using this is going to create the uh, our JavaScript our React application. What is npx and what is this one? All these things you can go and discuss now. Case the npx. First, we'll go and discuss about these things. This npx stands for node package execute. Okay, means the npx command is used to execute the package. We'll discuss about this thing. How can we going to use this one? Second one, create React app is the package name, package name to create the React application. And third one, the app name, this is the name of the project or application understand this thing guys what i am saying here to create a react application into your local then you have to write this predefined command you have to write now first one is npx npx stands for node package execute means it's going to execute the package then you will ask me a question where we install this npx guys when you install this node just right by default system is going to install the npx command for us okay no need to install this npx command separately Be inside the node.js only our npx command is available for that reason npx stands for node package execute is used to execute something what is going to execute it's going to execute this command create react app this is the predefined command or this is the predefined name of the our package which is going to download and execute and third parameter is second this parameter is the application name what is the application you want to use to develop the what is the, your project name this is the app name is your project name you can give any name to your project it's up to you means using this command we are going to create the our react application okay now now let's go and create application to create the application, we have to first write npx, like uh, node package execute, then package name. Now create react hyphen app. Okay. Now another parameter is called the application name. Our application name is Google Contacts. We are going to develop the project called Google Contacts. After that, you are going to do uh, click on the enter. Once you click the enter, now this command is going to create a react application into your local this folder then project name is google contacts you can see that the process got started it's going to install lots of packages we're going to discuss all these things what is packages all these things later you're going to create a default boilerplate code what is boilerplate code like using this uh, react app it's going to create a default application for us and in this application we are going to uh, see how, what are the folders and files are available for the project now let's wait for a few more minutes and it's going to uh, it's going to create the um, all the folder and files dependence going to load meanwhile what you can do the i'm going to give you this command into a chart if you want to create application into a local you can also go and try it now you have to wait for a few more minutes because because this is going to load a lot of packages you're going to download the packages and it's going to create and one thing you have to understand to creating this pack when you're going to create this application your you should have used your internet connection without internet connection it's not going to create means when you're going to create the react application that time you must have active uh, internet connection then only what guys you know that what is doing this command is going to download this package from the internet and this package contain the lots of sub packages and all the packages going to download from the internet for that reason you can see that this is you can see that all these things are processing here nothing is going to work on offline if you're going to create this one you must have required the internet connection okay now let's wait just wait for a few more minutes it's because the react application it should go that's the reason writing npx means it go download 
as well as it's going to execute means it's going to install for that reason it's taking time to do all these things now i started okay installing a lot of thing yeah pretty much done okay perfect perfect now you can see that guys like uh, everything is done here like um, this is uh, what are the packages are required and all these things are created we'll go and discuss about other thing uh, later but now let's go to our folder you can know that this is a react batch folder here we have a project we have created project you know that this is the project name we have given here like um, google contacts and here you can see that the folder created google contacts inside this you can see that all the boilerplate course are available means all the things are available here we'll discuss about what is the src what is the all these things can discuss but just understand our package our code is working fine now okay means our npm our react is installed into our local machine successfully how to run how to see all these things we'll go and discuss one by one as i told earlier to create after creating uh, the react application we must have to set up the editor okay why editor because as i told we are we are ready with our code right our uh, application got created now we are going to open this application into our editor to write the write and execute our code now to execute your code guys you can use any kind of like open the code you can use any kind of editor you suppose if you have eclipse you can use the eclipse suppose you have you are using any kind of um, third party editor also you can use that editor into your application to do all these things it's up to you how what you are going to use and open the code but you have to know that like now the days if you go and join any company okay all the companies are using the vs code now first understand what is a vs code how you can go and open the vs code what is the vs code or a little bit understand all these things and going forward we're going to learn about much more things on vs code now guys vs code is the visual studio code like this is developed by microsoft for the free suppose this is if you want to write any code not only uh, react if you want to write any code in this world you can use the vs code you can set up the vs code for that reason you have to open the code.visualstudio.com this is our um, website using this website you can once you open and you see otherwise you can simply go to google and type vs code once you click you can see that first link will be the always be the vs code link once you open you can see that this is our vs code here now you, you have option to download the vs code due to we are using windows it's going to display the windows option here suppose you are using other uh, other one you have to click it here you can see that other os also available here like for mac os and linux but what you're going to do you can simply go and click on download for windows once you click download for windows you know that this is the same to same uh, like downloading like you, you can see that the vs code getting downloaded and you can follow the installation step Installation step means you know that uh, you have a next 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 uh, uh, will be there you can simply go and support the vs code okay uh, this is the way you can able to install but uh, as you know already i have installed the vs code no need to install again but for you uh, once you download it then you can go for the normal instruction process how are you installing the software okay now let's see how this uh, this application we have created on google contact will go and open this google contact into our vs code now let's see how many way you can able to open a project into a vs code first we have to know this thing then we'll go and discuss other things once you install the vs code you have to see that into your code we have a uh, you will get an icon called vs code this type of icon you will get once you click the uh, icon just a second uh, yeah once you click the icon okay i have opened the uh, other things now you will go click here file open sorry, sorry file open folder you have to click open folder once you click the open folder you can go to your respective folder suppose um, we have a training and here we have a react batch and google contact you have to select this folder and click on select folder 
once you select folder it's going to show you this kind of pop up okay and uh, you have to click on yes trust this author okay click on this one now you can see that all the folders and files are whatever in the inside project is displaying here this is the one way you can simply open a project means file open folder you have to choose the folder you can create it this is the one way now let me close this one uh, what is another way suppose you want to open this one right now right click which folder you want to create suppose you have to go right click a second uh so more option like if you are using windows 11 uh so more option you have a, a, a option like open with code if you go and click open with code this project is go and open with the vs code this is the another way also you can able to create open the project using vs code first one is the file and open folder second one is you have to go to the respective project right click and you have a property you have an option called open with code you can open the code using this folder this is the two way using that we can open the project in vs code there is another way also you can use to open the project that is the as i told we have two way we can open one is gui one is cli gui means whatever we did the two step that is the gui step using the our graphical we can able to open last one is the cli how using the cli you can also open the project now you can see this one guys now our project is created into a react batch now i will navigate to the react that, that project by cd and suppose google this is our project right let me clear and now we are belongs to this folder like cd you know the cd is used to navigate to the particular folder now cd google we are in this folder means we are in this folder now here also using the command you can able to open the project how you can open you can write simple type code code is the like uh, shortcut like command for the vs code code space dot dot here stands for the allow the all the folders and file inside this google contact once you code space dot is going to enter this vs code also going to open inside your uh this uh, vs code means this command also going to open your entire application into the vs code you can see that we have three way we can able to open the project inside a vs code okay now first two we've discussed about the g one is file open another one is right click and open with the code third one is the using the cli you have to open your um, uh, like respective project folder and simple write code space dot it's going to open your project into your uh, vs code this is a three way you can open it's up to you how you can go and open the application okay now okay once you open the application first understand about little bit about this editor then we'll go and discuss about all these files and folder what are the files and folders are available what you are going to do all these things we'll go and discuss okay now you can see here this is my uh, this is our uh, vs code and in this vs code you can see that this is just like a normal software like like normal software we have a address bar we have all these things will be there we'll go and discuss all these things i know that this is the menus are available for vs code like if you go file you can create a new file you can edit you know that undo replace file all these things will be there you have a section we have to go into like select the line you can go and comment all these things this is the different different sections are available but as a developer we are going to mostly use for this uh, there is another uh, um, manual so here is called terminal we are going to use the terminal mostly for application and you can see that in left hand side we have a list of things that are available list of icons are available first you have to understand this thing the top one is not that much important but this one is mostly important first you can see that my first one if i'm also over it's the explorer explorer means what are the code you are going to write what are the folder you have opened into the application all these things is going to display in these things you can see that we have opened the project called google contacts in this google contacts you can see that we have a list of folders and files yes guys this is uh this command every time you're going to create the uh, react application you have to use this command called npx create react app and then you have to going to give your project name so for just example you are going to create another project it's not going to you're going to give your a suppose project name suppose called um flip 
Now you are going to create a project called Flipkart. Same to same, suppose you create another project, suppose called Google, uh, suppose called Amazon. Now this is the way every time you're going to create a project, you have to create this command to create the project. Okay. There is no global command. Every time going to create, you have to use this command to create project for your application. What is the main difference between this Node.js and uh, npm and uh, npx? Okay, let me tell you all these things, guys. As of now, you have to understand. I know that you people know that Node.js is used to create the API and Node.js is used to communicate with our front end to back end. I know you people few up know all know all these things. But currently, we have to understand that Node.js is a software using this software, we are going to execute and run our Node.js application. Means Node.js is a software or a platform using this Node.js platform, we are going to execute our React application. As of now, you have to understand this thing. But going forward, go, uh, using the Node.js uh, development to develop the API, that is a different part. But here, Node.js is used to develop the uh, is used to give a platform where we go to run and execute our React app. First thing is clear. Second one, there is a two command actually available. One is npm and npx. That I'm going to do because when going to open this uh, package or JSON, that time actually I'm going to install how this got got happened. But you have to understand first if you ask the question. We have two kind of kind of command is available. One is npm and one is npx. Now npm is stands for node package manager, okay. And you know that npx stands for node package execute. Now let's understand two things difference, okay. Now node package execute. Guys, inside a project, suppose uh, now actually that I'm going to discuss later. But package just means understand. Suppose you are going to download. Just understand. Simple understand. We're going to discuss about this uh, this npm later. But understand. Suppose you are going to download any third party uh, packages to your application, then we require the npm because that I'm going to go from there uh, because we have to first go for uh, npm package site. I'm going to show all these things. But just understand. As of now, npm is a command which is used to download the package from the package manager. But npx is used to do the com do the work of npm and it is going to download the package as well as whatever package you have download that going to be execute the application means here the create react app is a uh, like the package name like this is the package which is going to go to download from the internet as well as it will go and after the download, it's going to execute the code for us. Means both download and execution going to happen by the npx. But npm stands for only download the package and use it into the application. Npx where is going to download the application and execute that package for our things. We'll go and discuss how the npx internally work. We'll discuss in the later classes. But as of now, for today's class, just understand. This npm is used for the package manager download, and npx is whatever the package you downloaded that is going to execute. Then I'm going to use the npx command. Okay, I'm going to give you this brief idea about the npm and npx, how this is going to work in the latter of the classes. What happened in the npx command? Why the create react app is the npx command we are using? We we'll go and discuss all these things. Okay, now. Once you open the VS code, clear, right? Now, yes. once you open the VS code, you can see that we have a list of options are available. Uh, this is the explorer. We are going to see the list of uh, folders and files of our project. And the search option, where you can go and find the files and any search you want to do for your application, you can search it. And this is your Git. Like you, you know that going forward, we're going to integrate the code into our Git. For that reason, going to use the Git one here. And this is the run and debug. Suppose you want to open the run and debug your application, you can use this command. And final one, this is the extension. Suppose we are going to install any kind of extension for our application. We're going to see that what are the extensions are going to use. For that reason, we're going to use this extension. This is the extension. These are the basic stuff you can see that we are using for our uh, editor. Apart from that, you can see that in the down, we have a uh, like blue bar here. In the blue bar, it's showing some kind of master, some kind of push button, some error, like in problem here, and go live, all these things displaying. We'll go and discuss one by one by letter. Okay, now.
Now you can guys see that in my project also I am using the black screen. Suppose you don't like this black screen, black screen, you can also going to change the appearance of our editor. We'll go discuss a little bit about the editor now. And if you go and click on file, and uh, suppose you want to change this uh, UI, suppose you want to change this color to black to white or any red or anything that you can simply click on file. And uh, here we have an option called preference. Uh, in the file preference, you can go for the color themes. Once you click on the color themes, you can see that we have a list of themes that are available. My by default themes are dark. Suppose you want to change to any different color. Suppose you want to change to red, or you are going to change into white, or you can change into other things. You can you can choose one by one. Here you can able to use this one. You can able to change the color and all these things of our applications. Okay. Now this is the way you can able to change the basic uh, structure of our project. But uh, as of now, we are using the dark one for my default uh, one. But if you want to change, you can change this one. Well, why I'm saying all this thing? Because if you don't like uh, write the black screen, you can simply go and change your theme, uh, the theme of your uh, project. Okay. Now this is the pretty much uh, like basic things about the editor, how to work all these things. No matter the different different options are available. Now let's go and discuss about what is is created. Okay. And we'll go and discuss about what is the different different folders and files are created in the application. And all these things we're going to discuss now. And tomorrow class, we're going to run the application and see how the application is work and going to discuss about the project. A lot of things going to discuss in the tomorrow class. But let's first understand this folder and file structure. Now you know that when we are going to execute this NPM, uh, like this a uh, node package execute, right? This is going to npm it's going to create a this is the use of this one once you download the project this is going to create the folder and file structure for us for that reason you can see that this is the default folders and files created for our project let's go and discuss from bottom to top approach now we'll discuss all these things guys readme.md dot md file is the markdown file okay when going to create a new application, .md is the markdown. I mean, this is the special kind of file. Using that, you can going to write all your uh, project, how it's going to work. Means this file is the like the development document for a project. What you are doing, how you going to, someone going to run the application, how it's going to test the application. All the application details or all the applications like um, changes, uh, whatever, how to execute the project, all these things can be done here. And this readme.md we are going to use for our notes. Means going forward, suppose we are going to write all the daily notes, all the notes of our application, we are going to discuss it here. Okay. For us, we are going to discuss it here. And suppose you want to learn much more about MD, how the markdown is going to work, how to add a all this thing. You can see that this is the syntax written, right? If you're going to click it here, you can see that. Just a second, guys. If you go click it here, you can see that this is the output of MD file. A, like dot md file whatever we have written here right this thing is written here how to add a heading how to add a subheading all these things written here okay suppose you want to learn more much more about the md file this is not required but again you want to learn the uh, like um, the um, like md file you can simply go and open this markdown guide In the markdown down they, they have written that how to add a heading how to add a subheading all these things they have written here how to add a paragraph how to add a lot of things like uh, list of data strong bold whatever you want to do you can do this this is not required but if you want to learn you have curiosity to learn about the markdown you can simply go and learn about the markdown guide for your reference okay this is all about the project how your project going to all the information about the project okay this is not going to execute like when your application is going to run that time the readme.md file is not doing any stuff for us this is just a supporting file is required now we have two folders here uh, two files here one is package.json one is package lock.json first understand what is package.json guys to understand this package.json first we have to understand why the package is required and why this package.json is created if you are going to create any node.js application guys node.js application means i am not talking about the actual node.js application means any application you are going to run in the top of the node.js framework because as i told earlier 
Node.js is the software using that we are going to run and execute our React application. Means the React application is going to run in the top of the Node.js. Just like suppose you want to run a Java application, you require a JDK. Or suppose you want to run a .NET application, you require a .NET framework. Same to same, to create a React application and run the application into your machine, you require a Node.js application, Node.js software. In the top of the Node.js software, we are going to run the application. If you are going to run any application in the Node.js, the Node.js has some basic requirement. What is the requirement? Means if you are going to create any Node.js application, not only React, it may be Angular, it may be Vue, it may be same Node.js application, then there is a must be a content file that is called a package.json. This package.json is the entry file for your Node.js application. Means going forward we are going to run the node.js command to execute this application that time that command is going to look for this package.json file this package.json file is not a part of our react application let's understand package.js package.json is not a part of our react application this is the part of our node.js application due to we are creating our application using node uh, react application then for that reason all the node.js application is defaultly contain a file that is called the package.json right now in the tomorrow class we're going to discuss about why package.json are there what is dependency what is dev dependency what is the things you written here and why what is the like how the this guy is asked the question what is the npm now tomorrow class we're going to discuss about what is the use of npm why npm is required what the, how the npm going to work and how the package manager going to all these things you can go and discuss about the tomorrow class okay before wind up today's session guys anyone any question regarding the setup and uh, all the things anyone guys all the questions you have right the npm npx like node.js i'll go and discuss one by one because if because if you don't have use case right how you can go and discuss all these things for that reason, I did not discuss about this NPM and NPX in depth. Tomorrow, we'll go and discuss about this package.json, what is the user package.json, why all these things are written here, what is the script tag, what is going to happen, we'll go discuss one by one in depth, okay?